Shalom, everyone, and Chag Purim Sameach. Wishing everybody a wonderful Purim. It was so nice to celebrate together as a community last night. And I want to say it well done to everybody. Yesher Koach to everyone who performed in our Beth El's Got Talent variety show. And of course, a hearty Yesher Koach to all those who chanted Megillah both tonight and this morning. The story of Purim, the story recounted in the Megillah, is really a story about external appearances. Even Esther, our heroine's very identity as a Jew, has to be concealed until a critical moment. And from there, we get the tradition of dressing up, which is now several hundred years old tradition. It's not actually a mitzvah, but it's a fun part of our, of our holiday, and so hence this. And so much is emphasized in the Megillah about externalities, whether it be the very beginning of our Megillah, where we read of, of King Ahasuerus' lavish feast right, with all the drinks and the all-you-can-eat buffet and the wall tapestries, even down to how he honors people, right, how he eventually honors Mordechai, is by dressing him up in these fine clothes and parading him down the street and saying, this is what happens to a person whom the king really favors. Let's contrast that for a moment with this week's Torah portion, which on the surface also seems to be about externalities. It's all about the priestly garments. And so you might think that feels very superficial. How are we talking about real values when we're talking just about how people dress up? Well, there's an important lesson that the rabbis teach us, and that is this. Although in the Torah itself, we don't read very much about Aaron or his story or his personality, we read only about his clothes. The rabbis know that we have to dig deeper because the clothes are only a mouthpiece for who he really is, his nishama, his soul. Because the rabbis describe Aaron in all of these different commentaries as going behind the scenes and pursuing peace actively between quarreling factions, whether between friends or between married couples. Aaron is always inserting himself privately, quietly, humbly, and making sure that everyone makes amends. And this is the Kedushah, this is the holiness of Aaron, that his clothes only express, they don't create. And that's a lesson, that when we read of the priestly garments, they're just an extra extension of the values that we hold as Jews. Whereas the Megillah, the, the characters in the Megillah who are not as aware of what true Kedusha is, whether it's King Ahasuerus or the villain Haman, right? Look as clothes as the end all and be all. How you appear, how you seem in life is really at face value. But that's not how we look at it. We look at the ways we can elevate ourselves. And of course, we strive to beautify our world in the physical world we inhabit, but that's only in the service of perfecting all those eternal values. And our essential values as Jews are emphasized at the end of our Begilah when we're told of the core mitzvot, the core commandments that come out of the holiday of Purim, which is to hear the story of the Megillah, but how do we actually really hear the story of the Megillah? It's by doing good deeds. And what do those good deeds include? They include giving gifts to our friends, like food gifts, which is called Mishloach Manot, and also what's called Matanot Le'evyonim, which means giving gifts to those in need, those who are hungry. And fortunately for you, you have an easy, easy opportunity to partake in this mitzvah today, this moment. We are partnering with the Bucks County Opportunity Council, and this month we're doing a drive collecting nuts and seeds for those in need in our community. You can do one of two things. You can either drop it off at the Orings House, and their address is on our flyers about this, or even easier, I'm gonna provide links here for places you can donate directly online with your contribution. So please take this opportunity to remember what's inside us, and let's make the world beautiful both inside and out. Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach and a special Mazel Tov to the Shapiros on the Bat Mitzvah of Brindis Shabbat. Take care and be safe, everybody.